What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. As always, thank you guys for tuning in. Tax season is here. Everybody's excited. We got those W-2s coming in. Everybody's about to get those tax returns. Um, so I just wanted to make a quick video to give you guys some effective tips on how to use your tax income. Um, a lot of people mismanage this money. This is an opportunity to get ahead. This is an opportunity to get out of living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of us, like I said, we misuse this money. We go and blow it on a lot of liabilities. We go shopping, we uh, go on vacations, and then a few months later, we're back exactly where we started before we got this money. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Shout out to the hometown homie, Wesley Martin. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel as well at Threes Up Production, and we're gonna go ahead and get started. videos you already know what number one is i teach it every single time you receive income and it's paying yourself first that's first and foremost nothing changes um we're gonna pay ourselves first with these income taxes because it is another source of income so we're gonna pay ourselves at least 10 percent number two pay down some debt um i know people receive anywhere from a thousand dollars all the way up to the highest i've heard somebody receive is ten thousand dollars so you can pay down some debt if you have any now i'm not saying pay down all your debt you know if you get ten thousand dollars in tax return don't pay down ten thousand dollars of debt i'm not saying that because i wouldn't do that myself but you can at least pay the lowest amount or the, the debt that has the highest interest rate. It's two different methods to paying down debt. And I'll talk about that more in some later videos, but um, paying down some debt can help you in two ways. Number one, it can increase your credit score. Number two, it can uh, keep you from paying more than what you borrow because going back to the interest rate, the longer you keep a balance on your credit cards, um, the longer you keep paying on debt, the more interest you are accruing. So you're gonna eventually pay back to the lender more than what they lent you so um paying down debt is number two get some of that knocked out number three invest in yourself now, a lot of people especially those that aren't investors take this phrase as um and, and thinks it means to invest in real estate invest in stocks buy land and start a business things like that which those are ways to invest in yourself but it doesn't always mean that um you could do something as simple as buying self-help books, things that you can read to help elevate you as a person that helps uh, build your confidence, eliminate your fear, um, create better habits, things like that. That's investing in yourself. Um, going and attending different seminars, uh, attending online webinars, things like that. Anything that can help you elevate in any aspect of your life is investing in yourself. Repairing your credit, that's a big investment. Um, and just to plug myself in, I have now entered into the credit repair uh, industry. Right now, I got a, a pool of people that I'm helping just to get, um, you know, some experience in it. And uh, I'm taking more people if you guys need help repairing your credit. Charge them very, very, very low fees if you um, want to do that. Like I said, right now, I'm just building it up, trying to establish that trust, that um, get those credentials. So if, if you're looking to get your credit repaired, be sure to hit me up, ask me any questions that you may have. But um, that, that's another way of investing in yourself. Um, mentally and physically elevating in any aspect of life, like I said, is investing in yourself. You're gonna pay money uh, up front, but the money that you pay and the knowledge or whatever it is you may get back in return that helps improve any aspect of your life is an investment. So it doesn't always have to be uh, a business, but I do encourage people to invest in some business. If you good at something, if you good at doing hair, invest in starting your own salon if you're a good cook you know start investing in selling some plates or selling um you know anything start uh catering events and things like that barbers you know put yourself out there um buy some assets things that'll make you money instead of buying all kind of liabilities once you spend your money your money is gone um you know just things like that there's many different ways to invest I can go on and on all day about that, but I just wanted to put those few things out there just to give you guys a slight understanding of investing in yourself. Like I said, that's 
probably the main thing, the most important one out of these three, invest in yourself. And that's it, man. Like I said, it was going to be three simple, short, but effective um, ways to utilize your income tax return money. But I felt it, felt it was essential to make this video because um, I just want to share with y'all a quick story real quick. Um, as a child, I thought that income taxes had expiration dates on them because I would see my friends come to school with brand new clothes, brand new shoes. I would see adults with brand new cars and things like that um, around this time of year. But I always noticed that a month or two later, everything went back to normal. Those adults didn't have those cars. My classmates, my friends, and people at school wasn't coming to school, you know, dressed up anymore. And it wasn't until, and this is an honest to God truth, it wasn't until I got my first tax return at the age of 18, which is only like $300 by the way, but I remember calling my mom, asking her, where is the expiration date on this? And she was like, expiration date? You know, ain't no expiration date on that. I was like, well, why people be spending it so fast? I seen people in my community, people in my culture, spend the money so fast, I thought that if you didn't spend all of it, whatever you didn't spend by a certain date, the government took back. That's how, that's what I'm talking about at the beginning of the video. We go crazy with these income taxes and I just want people to be more wiser with their spending because it shouldn't be like that. I mean, I understand you want to enjoy your, um, your money, you earned it, but let's not just abuse it and put ourselves back into the position that we were in before we got it. A lot of us are living paycheck to paycheck. A lot of us are in thousands of dollars of debt. Let's use some of that money to get out of debt. Use some of that money as a leg up to become financially stable, um, to become financially free. Um, like I said, invest in some assets, invest in some businesses or whatever it may be that you want to invest in. Um, I just want to elevate everybody and, and encourage everybody just to spend these income taxes responsibly because it's a cycle. I watched, like I said, as a kid, I watched those parents, those adults, you know, ball out of control. And now their kids, my classmates, are doing the same thing. And if they keep it up, if we keep it up, I'm going to say we because I'm a part of us. And if we keep it up, our kids are going to continue to do the same thing. So we have to be the change and the ones to, you know, show them that this money can be used to do something positive. It don't have to be used to go to the mall buy all kind of designer clothes and designer shoes. Um, let's start using this money wisely. Let's start teaching our kids that, you know, you can do many different effective things with this money. It's not always just too low to be put back in the same situation that we were in to begin with. Everybody know what Yo Gotti said. Yeah, the, with your taxes in April, you back relaxing, you know, we can't do that. We gotta change, we gotta elevate, and um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Like I said, it was only three things I could keep going on and on, but I felt those three things were essential. Um, those three things can help you um, improve in many aspects in your life. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Share this to your social media um, platforms. If you haven't, of course, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And follow me on my social media. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. I'm always dropping knowledge on there. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys for tuning in and watching these videos. And I will see y'all on the next video.